Hello guys, just doing a quick tour of my jailbroken iPad Air. So here on the lock screen it's pretty standard. Um, just change the slider text at the bottom for a custom text. So let's move on to the home screen. Uh, the first thing up is the theme is called Oxygen and that's with a zero at the start of Oxygen. And it's got pretty nice icons, a nice 3D effect out on your springboard. So that's pretty cool. And next up on my dock, I'm using Spring to My 3 to hide the background on the dock to shade the wallpaper off better, which I quite like. Uh, my animations have been sped up using Spring to My 3, so opening the applications now happens more quickly. So you can go in and out of applications without a slow animation, which I quite like. Uh, my page transitions are courtesy of Barrel, so this is just the curl and roll away one. Uh, next up we've got folders. So using Spring to My 3, my folders now have a fast open and close, like so. And once I'm inside a fo folder, you'll notice uh, they have a transparent background. So that's pretty cool. Now my wallpaper is using a tweak called V Wallpaper 2. Uh, it gives you animated wallpapers. I'll just head into V Wallpaper 2. So here we go, this is a setting here to change your V wallpaper. I'll just change it to another one that I have. And these changes take place without requiring a respring, which is quite good. And this V wallpaper is called Mystic Smoke. That's quite a nice one. Uh, next up, look to the top right here. And the battery indicator is being replaced. I'm using a tweak called Alkaline to do this. And with Alkaline, you can download new themes to use with Alkaline. And the one I'm using is called Live Battery Indicator. Next, I've got Vitafont 2 installed. And the font I'm currently running is called Sensation. I'll just head into the settings app and you'll be able to see the font a little better. So there we go. You can see it's quite a nice looking uh, font there. And finally, I'm using Display Recorder here. And that's what I'm using to record my display in this manner. So again, in the settings here, I'm on the display recorder. You get different options here for the video quality and showing the taps when you tap on the screen and so on and so forth. It's quite a nice little app. It's pretty handy for recording your display. So that might be one to try out. I have the Tweak Controllers for All installed on my iPad Air, which allows me to use a PlayStation 3 controller to control games that have MFI controller support on my iPad Air. So here we have uh, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. So we'll just give this a go. So I'm not the best gamer, so don't laugh at my performance. So here we go. The uh, PlayStation 3 controller works perfectly with no lag at all. And this game is quite a good game as well. Here's another game that's well supported. This is Call of Duty Strike Team. So again, just using the PlayStation 3 controller. Really good for this type of game, the first person shooter. Unfortunately, I'm rubbish at these types of games. Finally got the dude. So you're in charge of a two-man team. By pressing up on the controller, you can switch to your other man. So he has a different weapon. So even with the PlayStation controller, I'm pretty rubbish at this game. There we go. I'm just getting annihilated. But you can see, obviously, making the controls easier on this type of game is pretty good using the PlayStation 3 controller. Yeah, you see, just running around, very simple compared to using touch screen, screen controls.
So there we go guys, that's a look at my iPad Air setup. Thanks very much for watching.